Hi everyone, I wanted to give an update on the CSRT tracking. Uh, CSRT is one of the object tracking um, methods available through OpenCV. Uh, they have eight different trackers. Uh, CSRT is the most recent one, I believe. I was doing this uh, in Ubuntu 2004, which uses OpenCV 4.2, I believe it is. Uh, so in dark mark there's a new option um, to import video frames this is what it looks like lots of different options you can do lots of different things with video frames once you have your video frames then of course you need to mark them up in this example this uh, the, this wolf project I don't have a neural network trained so all of the tracking that I'm going to show is done uh, with CSRT, um, which is available in OpenC OpenCV. All right, so our very first frame here, this is one of the key frames. I've, I, I've identified the wolf in this particular image. If we move to the next frames, you'll see how object tracking works. So it is following up with the wolf, which is good. However, uh, as you can see, and we'll see in a few more frames, it's not precise enough to actually mark up the images to then use uh, to train a neural network. So here we're missing part of the wolf. Now I think uh, we're moving to the back. We're no longer tracking the head. And then in a few more frames, now we're tracking the head, but not the back. So that's what it looks like. There's other examples within this particular video file. This is a video file I just downloaded from YouTube earlier today. Um, here's a great example. This one, it does actually a really good job. However, you have to remember that this is uh, one dark object that we're following on a white field, a white background. Uh, most of the neural networks that I've trained, it it's not as simple as this but just to show how uh, OpenCV CSRT object tracker works let's start with this key frame when I move forward you'll see with a couple of places where it leaves out part of the tail it actually does a fairly good job of tracking the wolf there is a little bit of jumping around as you can see uh, the rectangle isn't perfect but it does work relatively well in this simple example. The problem is that uh, if I take a look at some of the recent projects I've worked on, like uh, dash cam and highway cam pro project, the scene is not as simple as a complete white field. You've got buildings in the background, and then you're tracking cars, trucks, motorcycles, bicycles, pedestrians, and there's lots of stuff going on in a downtown scene. You can have 10 vehicles, 20 pedestrians. Uh, it, it's not as simple as this. There's also quite a lot of overhead um, adding tracker. I was playing around. I think I had uh, one particular traffic scene with four, 45 objects that I was tracking. Uh, and it was taking several seconds to switch between images uh, once it would update all of the trackers. Uh, so there is there is a penalty to pay to have these trackers in there. If we uh, move around to some other examples here, what's this one? Let's see if this is the one. Okay, here's my keyframe. And then moving forward. There you go. We've we've already lost, you know, half of the object that we're trying to track, and it's only been a few frames in. Um, there's one particular one that shows off this one. This one uh, here is my keyframe. So instead of tracking the whole wolf for this one, I was tracking just the head. And at one point, the wolf moves behind a tree. We lose part of the image right here. But when he emerges on the other side, look what happens. So it does a good job of tracking. And then for a few frames, it's going to jump away. Here we go. Now we're completely above the wolf. 
It's going to move back down, and then eventually it'll find the head again. Ah, there you go. And then at this point forward, the scene proceeds. Every frame it finds the head correctly. So there, there are some interesting things there. I can imagine if you're uh, working on, for example, a drone and you need to track a person or a vehicle on the ground, that this might be uh, a great thing to use, uh, the CSRT tracking. Uh, but for dark mark, uh, in order to try to identify the objects that need to be marked up in order to eventually train a neural network, in my opinion, uh, this isn't precise enough uh, to really assist. So the code is still in dark mark. I haven't removed it. I've commented out because there is a penalty for having it in there and at the moment, because it was more a test than anything else, it's not quite done the way that I would like. Uh, so if anybody wants to play with it, it is there. Or if you have ideas on how to make it better, just email me and I'll see what I can do.